Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. How are we going to explain this? Seriously. Or when the future finally gets here, those that are living in that future, are they still going to have to explain it to us who are right here at the beginning stages of what's going to become their future? More than ever, the mysterious world of AI technology continues to surface inside our ever-changing world. I mean, who is this Sam Altman guy, and why should we care about his recent firing as CEO and suddenly rehired at Microsoft? Research shows he's been at the forefront of advancing artificial intelligence for the betterment of society. Did you hear that? For the betterment of society. We agree on one thing. Time being the most valuable thing humans have to offer. We shouldn't be taken for granted. Now, I'm no expert on AI technology, but I'm fed, like millions of others, by clickbait stories and other forms of media to stand back by way of fearing this giant, evil, invisible monster. I don't remember this sort of thing happening when we were connected to the Internet for the very first time, right there on a desktop computer or a notebook. We were all so excited about the digital connections we were getting, and we haven't stopped producing new ways to make it easier. And you know what's happening in real life. We're stuck in the middle of how often do we decide to do something because the world of AI has convinced us to make that move. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mass, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer, a silent wolf. I observe. I listen. I study. I write. We activate. And then we have a conversation. This is The Daily Mess. Stepping into a brand new day means embracing what the morning has to offer. Learning to live a lifestyle of winning, always being a choice. Meaning a rainy day, to me, it's, it's liquid sunshine. How many people buy into that? Jazzy wanted nothing to do with the southern downpour this morning inside this forest. Embracing change is a huge challenge for millions of people worldwide. And admitting that winning is a choice can actually be seen as lying to yourself. I don't know what it's like to be a non-writer sitting in front of an empty sheet of paper. I also don't know what it's like for radio listeners that have never been inside a studio talking over a 14-second song intro. Winning is a choice in my heart. And it's not lying, it's reminding myself that we have a choice to make on a daily basis. Learning how to accept what is good or bad, that's a body language that we have control over. Taking note of the way that you walk can be a huge eye-opener. Maybe not for you, but the people who spot you. My essential job, I am in the center of hundreds of people every day. People that are constantly on the move. They need, they want, and they're going to get, or they're going to be angry. And when you have that many people around you, it's the martial artist in me that studies the waves of energy that move people or they walk within. Studying body language allows you to prepare yourself. When you walk into a room, don't judge it, listen to it. Be prepared to learn new things because wherever there are people, there's always going to be some sort of challenge and change. How you present yourself by way of body language is one method of letting people know that you're not going to show up. You're not going to be there mentally. You might be there physically, but you're not going to participate. I happen to speak with my hands. And what I mean by that is my hands are open and they're faced upward. My palms are. You go and study what that means, and that's positive energy. I'm willing to give you my positive energy. Now, as a martial artist, when when somebody comes up to me and they show anger, where I place my hands is still in front of me, but my palms are down. Because if somebody comes after me at this essential job where there are over 200, 300 people a day, I've got to be ready. Learning to watch your body language will teach you awareness of others. When you find yourself in a position of change and challenge, think of this. Winning is a choice. You could be in the worst of moods. It doesn't matter to anybody else. But you're going to affect those everybody else's because the energy that you're carrying is stopping them from proceeding. Remember, everybody 
is on a mission. Are you going to be the one that's going to get in their way? And are they going to be the one that's going to get in your way? Winning is a choice. Get through it. Trust in your moment of now, and you will grow beyond where you were three minutes ago. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.